I, mean, I cannot dodge it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mr. Wednesday. I cannot fight the feeling. <sighs> I know. We tried. I'm 0 and 2. You're grown up. OLS 3 changed the world. I, I still tried to keep it from coming out. OLS 3 should have come out. No, it shouldn't. What do you want me to do right now? You want to just chill? Yes. Why? Because when... Articulate it for me. Okay. I can, you know. And that's and that's why we're friends. Uh, Let, let's let's do, do it for me. When something is clear that... Somebody wants some, a certain a, reaction. A, a certain reaction out of you. Mm-hmm. Any reaction you give them... It hurts them more when you don't respond in a manner in which they want you to do. Any reaction you give them is their... They win. Well, yeah. They win. Win what? Whatever, Whatever it is they're they to want. achieve off of you. Yeah. Which is what? I don't know. It, it doesn't they, matter. It matters to the person. Yeah. It, it does. Yeah. It don't matter. It does matter. If somebody wants a response, if somebody wants to uh, make you angry, if somebody... You get what I'm saying? Like, there's uh-huh. people out here that do shit and try to manipulate you just to get you... Um, Bring your frequency down. Mm-hmm. You get yeah. what I'm saying? It could be an energy I'm thing, an attention hey, thing. Hey, I'm, I'm with you. That's what leads me to the question: What do you win? Like everyone's agenda. No, is that's just right? one particular like, person. There's a kid somewhere in Idaho that might tweet Kevin Hart and say, "Hey, fuck you, suck my dick," or just something from mm-hmm. his home. Mm-hmm. Right? He might feel vindicated and good about doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From Kevin Hart's position. No, you don't care about that because what did you win in that? No, like what do those you Those are some instances. In other instances, some people have a direct benefit at some of the things that they do. And so for me, I can only speak for me. And again, I'm not even, I'm preaching, but I practice what I'm preaching. We have this conversation here a lot. I'm not going to even entertain you. You, I won't even let you know that I know you exist. And I think that hurts the people ten times more than you cursing them out. Than you, you get any, what I'm saying? Any response, whether I'm it be good, a good yeah. response, any response at I'll all. I'll see you on the street and walk right by you, yep. fam. You know I will too. So that that's me. I can't. You know but what I mean? What, at what point does it become more about controlling your own narrative, especially when you have a platform this huge? I speak three hours twice a week. And that's for the free people. That's free. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what we do on the side. Gotcha. We we get to work. Yeah, so we like get your, your job, right, is to talk. So when you don't talk, it's obvious that you're not you're not talking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it's painfully apparent. So so then you just allow people to continue with whatever it whatever they say jargon they Little. say. And you're mature and you do the right thing, which never feels good. You older, you trying to go to a different place. Like everybody has a different route, right? So mm-hmm. in the route that you're going, no, you're not supposed to respond to any of it. But if you just keep letting people paint you with this brush silent while you're silent, mm-hmm. what could happen years down the line, if people are that invested, and with me they usually are, is that this just keeps going like it's like a like a uh, it's the snowball effect. Like it just gets bigger. And it gets bigger and it gets bigger. And now, because you the nigga that's willing to just leave with the niggas that trust and believe in you, no clarity is ever given from your side. And maybe none has to be. But when shit get a little too carried away. So I got two answers. Yeah. Yeah, I do think something should be. If this the, is app. This is dog. If, if, I hate this. If the people dog, want a response yo. today. Uh-huh. I might give you a response in six months when it don't benefit you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Or I'm just going to keep ascending and I'm happy that you did what you did. So but now that, I could put you over there and you can't grow show with me. me. Who you are. You show can't me grow who you are. with me. You stay right there. You can't never double back and get no bag See? with me. You can't never do nothing um, 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 positive with me because you showed your hand. Mm-hmm. I'm good on you. It's not going to stop you from growing. Exactly. It's I, only so it's like a self vindicating thing. See, but that's where it's weird ish, and I hate to bring it to this space. I'm not looking for vindication in the outcome of other people's actions. You are right? like there's a meme that there's a meme that goes around that says, You can't flex on me. I want you to win. 
Like my mom got her car broken into half many months ago and was real disappointed one one night. And so I said, "Hey, they needed that mm-hmm. a little yeah. more than we did." Mm-hmm. She didn't quite fuck with that at the time, but <laughs> <laughs> but nah, the true. fact remains that's the that's the way that the world is designed, yo. If I need some shit and that you got a Benz right here, I'm in there. So use your Nigga. own advice. So what I'm saying they is need this, this. You don't. I know. So that's why I'm not. I won't be. I'm not mad at everybody doing what they got to do. I have this talk with women because I support whole culture. (laughs) Mm. And I'm going to make that correlation a lot as we have this conversation, but I support whole culture. Mm -hmm. I support everybody doing what they have to do to survive. I don't know your circumstance, and I know any of our shoes could change with a phone call. Mm. (laughs) True. So if that's what you got to do, dog, then do it. But a consistent thing for me, and y'all are right. Let me say this. Y'all are right. So I don't want to sound like I'm arguing with y'all. Y'all are right. Where y'all are not right is, yo, this is a trigger of mine. And now this is different. I'm so you, not, so I'm you, not personally you, you asking invested. me, yeah, yo, you asking me to have a restraint. God is asking me to have a restraint. So I will. Yeah, like But I mean. boy. Ugh. This this way this way your true strength shows. Yeah, I go through it every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can handle some of the other ones, but when it's right there, let's let's see how strong you really are. So for y'all, you never give an explanation or anything. You just let it let it it's all go. It's days that I damn near be about to break. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. but like, I look at what good is it gonna do? It's not gonna do no good. You're not gonna win. But there's nothing to win. I know. So let me advance. No, no, fuck the win. Yo, let me advance this. What good is it gonna do? Let me advance this. I mean clarity. But let me ask for you, whom? Hold on. Yeah, I was just gonna say clarity for whom? Cause because in the clarity situation, if that's your goal, then I pick up the phone. I have. And if we still don't meet, I then have. there's you no clarity gonna be gained. Yeah. So what so I, and that's just the Or thing. some people don't some want people, clarity. We'll never meet. Yeah. We'll never meet. That's yo, fine. We, yo, we come on this pod a lot and talk about behavior that we see from people doing things for monetization. Mm -hmm. Like that is a consistent topic here. It is. Especially in the internet era. So none of it is shocking. But sometimes, and for me, a lot recently, God keep making it so it'd be like, wait, no, you? (laughs) Mm. No way, not you. Wait, you too? Oh, and you. Everybody need a bag. And so the people that but, may but be lacking. But what we do for a bag differs. And because the line is so blurry today because everybody got a platform and is posturing, we throw around words like fucking integrity. But what the action show is insecurity. And if you don't clear that up for people, then you just get a community of people to believe some shit and just run with it and then the phone game starts. But they're going to do that regardless, Joe. Yeah, but... When, Even if you try yeah, to clear yeah, it up, they're some gonna people are not going to believe you. That's why we say, what, what is it going to solve? All of that is cool, but when you come in here and talk as much as I do, about as much as I do, when it come to your front door, no, you should address it. Now, should you address it like we addressed, like I addressed another situation that I handled poorly publicly on air? Of course not. Of course not. And I think that my reputation garners people thinking that when I say I'm going to address something, that's what's coming. And that's not where I'm at. I don't feel that way. I'm hurt. I'm not angry. But I won't misdirect my hurt. And for me, that's what happens a lot of times. We start misdirecting anger because of a difference in ideology. And this slaughterhouse shit that we're talking about, that's all it's been from the rip. And when emotions get involved, it's tough for people to articulate their points and try to convey a message and think about things logically or in spite of their position. But that's what needs to happen. I don't know why all this is going on because there's a difference in ideology. But that's a consistent thing for me. So it's me. It's me. So therapy teach you to always look at you. What's happening with you that makes all of these things similar? Like happen, go on. Everything in your life, you attract it. So y'all say to ignore it. Therapy tell you you can't. 
So what? Don't address it here. I was just gonna watch. Say, just just watch the clown show. Just watch the clown show. You don't have to go on. It. I can't but do that because there's a teachable like moment somewhere in here for somebody. I can't shun the people that's going to pick up the positive for the people that only focus on the negative. I can't. I can't. That's not who I am. That's not who I've been. That's not the evolution of Joe. That's not the person that, that's not who I want to be. <clears throat> I can't tell you how to move. I can't tell you how to clean your house. You know what I'm saying? I might want my couch over there. You might want your couch over there. I can only say what I would do and what I wouldn't do. So if I'm you, I am I wouldn't even address anything. If I had something to say, I'll pick up the phone if we can't get clarity or if we can't get a commonality there, I'm going to move on and I'm going to dissociate myself if that's what I feel I want to do. If I don't feel I want to dissociate myself and we can't get clarity, cool. You could be your right, I could be my right, and we could keep it moving, but I wouldn't um, do it publicly. Like, you've had too much public shit going on. Like, I, I would just let that shit rock. And again, <laughs> but doing it that way says that you can't just have a legible conversation about something. No, you can have a conversation in private. You don't gotta have that yes, conversation. It ain't gotta on be the for, the, for the public. It's, Especially this conversation in this conversation has been had privately ninety million times. So where's the clarity over the come course from? of ten years? So what is you addressing it right now, Saul? Nothing. If you've had, like you said, this conversation's happened a bunch of times over the past ten years. What are you getting in front of this camera on that microphone addressing it right now? Because, what does there, it because there's a teachable moment. That's why. I just finished saying you have to look at shit outside of your personal perspective on it and think about the people that's going to actually pull what they need to pull from it. Because there's too many people that watch this. I understand the point of you adding light to something that you don't really want to be so visible. I get that. But at some point, we have to start taking control of our own narrative. I think you just go down a wormhole. Because every single time now that something gets said. Not every time. You pick and choose your battles. You pick and choose your battles. But the one you that don't you, respond to anything. So, so listen, to this, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Give it to me. So now when you don't choose to address something, mm -hmm. because you address Jack, you don't address Jill, Jill must be telling the truth. You get what I'm saying? Or you address Ronnie and Bobby, you ain't address Ricky and Mike. Mm. Them niggas is telling the truth. Because if they wasn't telling the truth, you would have addressed, addressed it the same way you did to other people. And I think you just go down a wormhole. I wouldn't lend no credence to nobody. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I don't feel Especially that way. after we talked. Good luck, if my nigga. And I'm we out. talked and had a conversation yeah. about it, and we didn't, we couldn't come to terms or whatever, yeah. fine. You move how you move, I move how I move. God bless you. Yeah. Good luck. No out. Or not good luck. Okay, so, Just you, God bless so you. you move one way behind the scenes. No, no. I'm you, dive, no, no. you divulge only certain information to the public to frame certain things a certain way to leverage your audience and take advantage of fan equity that wouldn't have been... Don't worry about it. Yeah. Come on. But you don't got to do that. Right. Be blessed that you ain't got to do that. Look at it as a blessing that you don't got to do that. Damn, but that, that is... That was good right there. <laughs> I'm trying to make lighthearted, but yo, you you don't have to do that. But that is the blessing issue. I know. Everybody I, not I blessed to have you. to do that. It just hurts when you do it at, at the expense of me. Oh. Would you take the advice you gave your mother? Damn, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was, that was, I smoked that. So get your shit off. No, yeah, like. Take the yeah. advice you gave your mother. Get your shit off at the expense of me. And hopefully it does well. Whatever they stole out, out Mama Faye's car, they needed that. It ain't hurt Mama Faye. Mm -hmm. They needed it. Leave it at that. I'm going to go off one day, yo. Nah. We're going to try to I'm telling you I'm going to go off one of these days. Y'all know that's what happens when you suppress things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep building up to eventually you explode. That's why you find another method of release. Yeah, and not for nothing. That's all. Why you go to the strip club? It, it, or whatever. It, you go to the gym. Like whatever people sweat do. Sweatpants. So, to what they're saying too. At least my advice would be let the whole picture paint out. Let's see what this all looks like. All these webisodes, the album. 
parks. I know. You know why niggas fell in love with Friday the 13th, the series, the movie, and Jason? When it came on and Jason killed somebody, it was to be expected that in a few more minutes, he was going to kill somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you didn't, don't need to see the rest of the movie to kind of know how this is. Oh, wait, you got to keep killing. Holy shit. <laughs> like, that's what y'all want me to watch. This is disgusting, yo. Come on, man. Stop. Yo, push pause. Stop, pause, yo. Pause, stop. Pause, now pause. we got to pause. Yeah, we yeah. got to pause. No, this is fucking <laughs> utterly, uberly disgusting. U- uberly. Yo. Uber. All right, now, nah, love and light. There love and light. There you go. Y'all need a check. Zinjo. You got to give me a check. I don't like it. I don't. You, you will a, later on, though. Could you send me a check? <laughs> you give Alicia a check. You gotta give me a check, my nigga. That's all I'm saying. Therapish. Yeah. Ther- oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Dr. Ish. No, I'm tight. It's part of I'm life. I'm tight. It's part of life. It's part of, yeah. Yeah. Well, You'll it. look back on it and, and be like, yo, I'm glad I listened to it. Thank you, dog. Yeah, thank you, dog. You'll look back. We only telling you this because we your friends and we really love you. We don't want to see you make... Just, just... Ain't worth it. Don't do it. Because you know I'm ignorant. The other side, I gas you up for no reason. All right, come on. Let's move on. There we go. Let's talk about uh, friends exploiting the relationship. (laughs) Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) Let's move on. What do y'all think about that? (laughs) React. (laughs) I think we did. (laughs) No, nothing? (laughs) All right. What else you got, (laughs) man? So Biden elected. <laughs> <laughs> so Biden elected the, the first African American woman to be um, potentially, to court. and he nominated her rather to be potentially elected to the Supreme Say Court. Her name, Katanji Brown Jackson. Biden nominates to be the first Black woman to sit on the Supreme Court. Let me give me a little clap. For it's that. huge. Yeah, give me some clap. I'm still mad. You're talking about clap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk this shit. <laughs> I don't We're advancing this, Joe. Yeah, yeah, Joe, Joe Biden nominated. Yeah. I know. I got it. Back to these niggas, Joe. Yo, no, we the good. fuck is you talking about? No, 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 we good. We good, man. Oh, man. We good. Go ahead. Then go ahead. <laughs> then go ahead. It's a new Jay-Z album out. <laughs> it's like, nah, I bet you that's the only shit going to change your mind, my nigga. You could just never respond to nothing when you get to a certain yeah. Yeah. tax bracket. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of it. Like, it ain't even about tax bracket. When, when you were shooting at Jay-Z. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it's it is. That's definitely about tax bracket. That's the problem, That's yo. It. That's it. Ow. When you were shooting at Jay-Z, what? he replied. Huh? When you were shooting at Jay-Z, he replied. He did. Not the way people would know. He did. A little conniving ass. <laughs> he did, he did said though. One thing. No, he responded. No, he said no, more no, no, than no. one thing. Oh, he did. No, he, he, was on, he was on my ass. No, no, he, he, was, he was beating my ass. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and he replied, not on record. <laughs> he thought that every washed up basketball player and called me him. <laughs> what no, are you talking about? Y'all wasn't beefing then. Ish, what are you what talking about? That was a little pow pow. Ish, if somebody come up to me while I'm walking to the store and pow me, <laughs> no, <laughs> then, no. then there's a problem. No, you can't no. just come up to me and that start smacking me around. Man. Nigga said you yo, ain't no the, athlete, you Sean Bradley. Yeah, stop, yo. That we did, this is why you banned from music talk. Stop. <laughs> stop, yo. No, Listen, on his beat. <laughs> they wasn't beefing. There. What are you... Ahead, why'd yo. he do that? No, 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 no. <laughs> you a whole... Why'd he do that if there wasn't beefing? What, what was that about? Yo, but what, come no, on. I gotta hear this, yo. I just gotta get real quick. I gotta hear it. Keep going. I'll tell you off mic. Okay, but yeah, you can't. It's it, it's not really beneficial for you. If it was a benefit for you, I would say address it. I think a phone. I'll call. I'll sleep better at night. But y'all keep saying a phone call, and I, I keep say saying that no more. The, the phone calls end where they end. Yeah, and if nobody's going to be honest about where they end, why can't the guy that talk for a living come in and be honest about where they ending at? Because that's just your truth, and then that's you just put the light on that and leave it alone. All right, come on, move on. What you got? That's all. What you got? Y'all watch, y'all watch Bel Air? Nigga. I did. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm trying to move. Y'all I'm not telling, caught up. Y'all telling me to stop you caught up. Fuck. I'm not caught up. <laughs> oh, man. All right. How many more episodes we giving Tommy before we call this shit whack? It's Bruh. Not, it's not whack to me. 
Really? <laughs> Let's look. I know we all was looking forward to it. How many more are we going to give them? Before we get this one the fuck out of here. I don't think it's whack. I think it's about to get crazy. I think that it's a new season in a new city. And I think what 50 does well to me uh-huh. is introduce all the characters and give them their own lane. Uh-huh. And I think that's what uh-huh. we're doing now. Okay, can I, can I raise my hand? Yeah. Raising Kanan, right? Uh-huh. New characters, new city, all new that era. shit, right? New era, <laughs> everything, right? Had a backstory. Go ahead, though. That shit was Just, good. So, for so, real. This has zero backstory. We know who Kanan was, so all they're doing is showing you how he came to be Kanan. This right here is all new territory. Fam, this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is trash. This, is, this is trash. I'm bro. sorry. You think I was, I was, three episodes deep, bro, I can't. I, know what else is trash? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to hear you niggas coming here in two weeks. And say, yo, I ain't gonna hold you that time. Well, shit, if right. it gets better, if it I'll gets say there, it gets better. Oh, man. but three episodes trash. in, Mm-mm. it's three. Oh, it felt like longer than that. This is trash. <laughs> so, what do you know? You don't need to see the whole series to know what <laughs> yo, to know yo, what's coming. Like, I'm asking you. Like, yo, you good? You a rapper? Yo, I'm just really, asking Parks a question. Yo. I'm glad you don't rap no more. Nice. Says who? <laughs> <laughs> Says who are you fucking shit? Yo, niggas would have never tried me like this back in the day. Yo, yo I feel like niggas are taking advantage of me, yo. All right, come on, man. We yeah, just leave it. I mean, what else, Park? It's always leave it, though. Well, yeah, it is leave it. I hate you, niggas that love me. <laughs> like for real, honestly. Like I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Y'all might be right, but I don't. Okay. Uh, Down the line, you'll, you'll, you'll damn yeah. good looking, yo. You know what y'all was right. Word. It might not seem like it right now. They did a confessional. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, yo, shut the fuck up. I'm, at, I'm asking you if you saw what I, I saw. saw it. I saw it. They burnt up. The, they burnt up. Yo, yo, you know, where'd, you, where'd you even find a pig? Y'all burnt a fucking pig. Fam. You, fam. <laughs> no, Somebody. this is like when Azalea Banks fucking cooked a cat and nobody said anything, yo. <laughs> Why you keep? Saying I was she the cooked only the cat, one bro. saying, "Yo, that's not right." <laughs> Why you keep? You saying can't she put the cat? a cat in a frying pan, yo. Oh wait, she. And the internet was like, <laughs> like, "All right, I'm done, yo. I'm done." They burnt the pig. <sighs> They burnt the merch <laughs> of something they own. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Good. Someone put Bow Wow on an all time corny rappers list and he ain't like that shit. I want to put two more niggas <laughs> in an all time corny rapper <laughs> list. You gotta stop saying shit because he, <laughs> I want to put two more four, niggas bro. in an all time corny rappers <laughs> list, yo. Who else is on the list? Uh, I think Nick Cannon was on there. You know what's uh, crazy? Who else, I think? No, no, not you. I'm talking to Parks. Uh, let's see who else was on I'm there. I'm definitely not I talking think to Will you. Will Smith was on there. So somebody stole oh, I shit. round out the top five. Throw it to me, coach. <laughs> <laughs> throw, coach. Yo, somebody H-Stay throw it to me. Put, uh... <laughs> so please tag me. <laughs> I can't, I can't oh, they're missing it. pictures. I can't deal with this. Oh, that's, who's at the bottom? That's these not, niggas that's let not people the, be That's not the corny. No, that's not corny. The regular corny list, not corny rappers, just corny people. Oh, it's just corny people. Yeah, you're right. Wayne Brady's on there. On a corny list? Yeah. I had a, the funny thing is I have a playlist that I made. Remember when I used to make the playlist on Apple? Uh-huh. It's called We So Corny. Mm. And I, I said, yo, these are bangers from people that y'all deem corny. They're really not, but all these guys was up there. Let me ask you a question, right? True. And we do this with black, cul- with black culture. Why do we deem somebody corny if they don't have any street credibility? You just answered your question. That's why. They corny because they don't have no street cred. That makes you a corny black man. To these niggas, yes. I don't, I'm don't. i not saying I agree. Oh. But yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, you corny. That's horrible, my nigga. That has to stop. Let's get back to these two niggas. I'm trying to go away. <laughs> I'm trying to go anywhere Fan. but there. That was a great little... Some niggas went to a little... <laughs> a little... <laughs> Ch- Yo, Ch- you got, they went to a little chopped beef restaurant. What's the time? <laughs> the time? <laughs> oh, niggas went and ordered some pulled pork. Yeah. No, y'all don't talk about me over pulled pork. 
Don't do that, yo. Hello? We good, Joe. <laughs> no, no, you good. <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> so Donda 2, right? Right, right, right. I'm, go- I'm looking at my sleepers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Man. All right. Why? Yeah. How you I'm just glad you don't rap. I really am. This is one of them. Times. I don't even have nothing. Yo, I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm tight, and I'm tight that y'all won't let me just be tight. No. That's why I say you don't. No, you could be tight. Yeah, just you don't have to be tight here. No, Joe Biden. Enough of that,